Yeah, so what are you up to next weekend? Okay, so uh, I think I'm gonna suck you off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, no, we were gonna 69, right? Yeah, 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 so we're sucking each other off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> that's, 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 on, that's on Valentine's, and then, the, the, and then Sunday is my birthday, so I don't know. Why? Why, uh? Okay, yeah, okay, I just really let's start this again because I realised I didn't actually mean next weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so, lads, what are you up to the weekend after Valentine's Day? Golly gee, I don't know. God! Um, Do you fancy going to Paris? Paris? Yeah. With you? Yeah. I wouldn't have thought so. <laughs> hey, guys. Yeah. What's up, Rowan? Hey. What Make are you up see, to? You the... look like you have a question to ask us, right? <laughs> Go ahead. What is it? <laughs> what are you up to the weekend after Valentine's Day? Oh God, do you mean I don't know, buddy? What are we up to? I'll have, have to check my schedule, but I think free, free, I'm free. free. Do you want what? to come? Do you want to come to Paris? Holy mackerel! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Oh man! Oh no! Shit, sir! I got an offer from. Uh, Foot Your Locker. ex, Callum. I got an offer from Foot Locker to take seven MCs out to Paris for two days, and all we have to do is rap for one minute each. Oh, really? We have to rap against a shoe. Again? <laughs> oh, you have no idea how on that I am. Well, you know, we're not normally the type of guys to uh, rap against inanimate objects. Oh, wait! <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm Yola whipping. Till the bowl is spinning like the solar system. With Homer Simpson. Choking infants like Homer Simpson. <laughs> yes. They all We've got Yola Motis for days, mate. We've been listening to Yola non-stop. Yo, hollow, hollow. I've been, I've been like repeating Yola just on my phone, like over and over again. Like, <laughs> over and over and over and over. over. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to make skrr and ad lib as well yeah. for battles. Mm. Yeah, man. <laughs> you know that fuck with him, man. Yeah. We got a battle, then, man. <laughs> yeah, get a load of me, no controlling me. I control everything. I dot C dot E is in the Now watch, don't fly. Um, yeah, so how do you feel the uh, Serious Jones battle went, man? Uh, 2 1 my way. I, 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 I want to say 3 0, but his third round was kind of cool, man. His little uh, freestyles and the was kind of edged in for the look like so. But 2 1. Why, so why did you, like, how come you changed your delivery so much? Because you kind of went, you turned it up about to mark 9,000. Like, yeah. like, usually you're so calm. Like, what happened, man? Yeah, this one was, like, more of a, a personal thing. I mean, I knew Jones over 15 years. I met Sirius Jones, battling with him back in 2000. And uh, since then, it was kind of like we both been on our own, kind of a high horse, feeling some kind of way, and we just had to talk to each other. So where did you battle before? In person in the streets. Oh, just randomly. Yeah, randomly. Wow. It was part of a three-man group called First Half. It was him, a dude, and a girl. And I beat all three of them. <laughs> Your body. No peace be with you, brother. I man. Now take these shots. Arm, leg, leg, arm, head, nigga. Ice. Fuck wrong with you, nigga. You looking to come out to UK to don't throw up sometime? Yeah, man. Shouts out to Moon and Sea and all of them, man. Shout out to all of them. It's a lot of y'all out there that I mess with, man. That's crazy, man. Even the dude that put me out there with the uh, the Bender sister thing, you know? Wolf oh, Bamalam. Bamalam. Yeah, man. Henry Bowers. It's a lot of y'all, man. Yeah, so we, um, yeah, how did you feel? We spoke about this the other day. How did you feel when you were watching the, uh, Watching the Bamalam vs. Bender, eh? Oh, man, <laughs> man, man, me and my little junior was watching, man. That, that thing slid by on the screen. I had to tell myself, this just bad, bro. I ain't touched that. So your son, your son knows you as Head Ice? That's a fact. That's crazy. Yeah, he watches this. He let me know when there's somebody doing a vlog, he was saying something about me or something related to me, he'll put me on sometime. That's so, right. Yeah, he's dedicated. So you weren't exactly expecting to hear your name come up no, in a battle from England? I was just shocked as my kid listening, man. Yeah. But that's what's up, bro. This is hip-hop for the love of the sport. Well, yeah, man. Look. Bama Lamb. Bama Lamb. Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll set you two up. <laughs> yeah, we could. That's cool. cool. And you can good. both... Good. Good. You can just rap about Bender's family members the whole battle, man. Oh, so, man. But nah, nah. We gotta we got bring you out, man. Like, yeah. sometime this year, bro. Like, you're one of the last names on our list that we still haven't got out. That's like, what's up. honestly, I man. You. Like, I, I feel you. like... Honestly, the, the London the London crowd would connect yeah, with you, man. Like, definitely. 
Tony Dean, and them out there too, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I would have been cool with you judging, but mm -hmm. they're like, are you cool with the judges? I'm like, yeah, then Mook was a judge I didn't know, and I dissed Mook in the battle. That's that real shit! I'm ruining vets! I just killed Pat State! Tell that bitch Mook he's next! <laughs> Do a reenactment of Sharon on stage and Hollahan jumping out of the crowd. Right, right. Cause next time you fucking battle me, I'll fucking hit you at you. You fucked up the loyalty! <laughs> Don't you understand? Nobody cares about the man in the box. They want the man. You fucked up the loyalty! <laughs> you come to me. On the day of my daughter's wedding. You fucked up the loyalty! <laughs> I said God flow. That's why they want to get me on the cross. But if you listen, you won't miss it. And the lesson that is taught, it's not how you win, it's how you lose that keeps you relevant at all. So if the rebel never lost, it's because he's never been at the level of a boss. How did you um, feel when you came out and the crowd were going crazy? It was, it was wild. I mean, it, it's... Yeah, it went mad crazy. It's it's it. It was exciting on on this platform because I've you know I do shows I do a lot of shows that you know I've been doing shows for so many years, but to see it on this platform, coming out as a battler, shit was pretty dope. Like for this generation of uh, stuff, I was I was kind of bugging still when when it all even even when I was I was back like buying the curtain or whatever watching. The scroll, I, I was even still feeling like, yo, shit's about to get real. I wonder how they're going to react when they see my name. Because nobody knew I was battling Arsenal. The fa like, no, none of the supporters out there had any idea. They thought it was Ur. They thought it was Mad Child. Mm -hmm. They thought th that was the top two that they thought for sure it was. Direct. Um, yep. Of all the rappers on the card, which ones would you have matched with each other if you were making the matchups? Like, which ones would you have kept the same? Which ones would you have done differently? Good question. I would have did dumb and conceded. Okay. Um, actually, I I thought Bishop's battle. I thought that was a good matchup. Um. Oh yo yo the kid twist the kid twist the matchup was perfect. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm trying to think. I like I like the battles where people marry. I like to see like two fat niggas and two skinny niggas battle and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like when people favor each other, it's just funnier. You know what I mean? And some I feel like it comes out better because you're like <laughs> your fatness is like you know making my fatness um feel uncomfortable and now there can only be one fat nigga. So and I feel like it makes it more competitive and shit. You know what so saying? so who would be the ones you would pair? Or like like I wouldn't have did uh, Big T and Rome because. I wouldn't have did that because I, I think Ron had had an advantage because of his style as to where like Big T wouldn't really shine. You two have both been involved in battling for a while. Can you either of you remember a moment from a battle you've witnessed live where you it's personally made you think like what the fuck am I involved in? Because personally for me yesterday like I'm a big Daylight fan, but uh, when I was at the front row and I turned around and I saw like hundreds of people going nuts for a grown man saying, I'm a little teapot. You got options. You can get the llama or the heat glock. Here's my handle, here's my spout. I'm a little teapot. Let's go, let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Like, it made me, I'm not, I'm not it's no disrespect to Daylight. Like, that was my, I have a moment every single event where I'm like, this battle rap shit is fucking hilarious. <laughs> and that was when I turned around and I saw people going crazy. So I just like, no, you both been, there must be, I'm just interested to know, is there any moments where you have both been like, wow, like, what, why am I involved in battle rap? Like, <laughs> yo, I, I mean, I, I don't, it wasn't because somebody said something like petty and funny, but I remember when, yo, you was there when Disaster Battle No Can Do. And, was, and 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 I and after his first round disaster was just he doubled over and he was, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like he just put his whole soul and I was like like why would you battle a nigga who just eats lives and sleeps like yeah he was snapping seventy two ways to murder he, you he killed over and was like it looked like he was trying to like to ex like just extract everybody's soul in the room yeah 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 he was, he was just trying to eat every, it was like a Shang Tsung moment or something yo kid twist here in Toronto right now. But, in November, I'll be in Don't Flop. So I'll see you there. <laughs> Peace. Awesome. Uh, anyone you'd like to battle? 
Anyone that I would like to battle over there? Yeah. Um, you know, I have, I have a few ideas. There's, there's some things that have been discussed. One that's been thrown around for years is O'Shea. So that, that might be a guy there. I'm sure a lot of people would love to see me bat, battle Kruger. Like another uh, look-alike battle, like the one that I just finished. Another URL so, classic. Exactly, exactly. Definitely. Nothing but gun bars. Yeah. Although, to be honest, Kruger, I'm sure, can write better gun bars than everyone in URL. So we could do that. It could be great. All right, cool. So yeah, <laughs> we'll see you this November, man. Yeah, man. All right, boy, peace. Hey babe, how you doing? Yeah, I don't mind that the phone bill is going to be mad expensive. I've got time for my girl. What, a thousand bucks? Please, that's nothing to me. Drake's given me a million dollars just to be here today. Yeah, yeah, I'm having a great time. Yeah, it's going really well. Nah, yeah, <laughs> some of the battles have been a bit lame, but ours was great. <laughs> yeah, all the UK guys came out and killed it. Shame that everyone in Canada's a pussy.